Hello guys, you're welcome to Photographics Academy. Alright, so today I'll be giving you a walkthrough on how I was able to retouch this image using one of our uh, retouching action in the Doll for You Retouch Action Pack. So we have three action packs that you can use to retouch your image. We have the uh, Retouch For Me, we have the Done For You, then we have the, we have the Retouch Action Pack. So today we are looking at done for you retouch action pack an amazing retouching action don't worry you will see the results so it will be so mind-blowing so if you want to know how you can get access to any of the three parts especially this one that i'm using today just go to the description of the video click on the link and you will see how you will get it so finally i want to give a very big shout out to the person that shot the image and submitted billion shots we made it open to the public of course, we are still making it open to you. You can submit your image. Uh, we will retouch it for you. Upload the video on how it was retouched so you can equally learn how you can retouch for your future clients, shots. And we'll definitely give you a shout out like we are doing now. So a very big shout out to Billion Shots. Just go to your Instagram, go to your Facebook, check out the name. You will see the young man. All right, so let's get straight to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, run my doll for you retouching action quickly. Run my door for your retouching action. So she does not really have a lot of blemishes. So I wouldn't need to go through blemish removal. Done for you will do all that job for me. So because the image has a lot of details, I'm going to use quite a very low number. So I tried it using somewhere around 0 0.3. Yeah, 0 0.3. Let's see what that does for us. 0 0.3. Okay, so press OK and wait for it. beautiful look at that isn't this amazing isn't this amazing let me zoom it a bit closer you could see so this is before this is after this is before this is after still retaining a lot of textures if you feel like you still need some level of smoothness you can as well just delete that and run it again maybe try somewhere around 0 0.1 let's see how bad that is going to do okay amazing job so this is before this is after i think i love i love the result because i still have my textures all intact but i have her skin properly evened out all right so let's get straight to the next thing so we we'll have our image already retouched of uh, the frequency separation already done so i'll just quickly run the auto dodge and run so i could just bring some dimensions into the image so right here auto dodge and burn, auto db Okay, so we'll pick up our brush and paint over the skin, just like that. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. This is too much, right? Of course, we'll reduce that somewhere around 10, we even do. So what we're going to do is just we'll reduce the opacity. Yeah, just something low. Just a kick of dimension that we we'll need in the image and we're good to go. So the next thing we'll do is to quickly run our auto skin tone correction. Auto skin tone correction, just press OK. It's going to do the magic. All right, so I'm going to delete this mask or you could just use your brush and painting, but I'll delete the mask and just create a new one. So I'll have it just on her skin tone. So this is it. Let me show you. Let me zoom it a bit closer. This is after, this is before, this is after. Just a very subtle change. So let me keep it somewhere around 30 ish. Okay, so we have our, our auto skin tone correction, but I'm having a little issue with the coloring because it's in color. So the color, what color blend mode does for you is that it takes, it makes sure that it, uh, it, it uniforms all the skin tone. But if you put it in soft, it just gives it an extra saturation or even multiply it to just darken stops down and give you extra effect there. So what I normally do is I duplicate the effect and now probably apply a multiply on it then reduce the opacity so i can kill a lot of highlights i was jumping out look at that the image was looking quite too highlighted so i just did that to kill down a lot of highlights on the skin tone yeah okay so what i'm going to do next is to remove it from the lip and the eyes from the lips and the eyes so you could just take your brush and delete it from any of these areas like that Yeah, just like that. Beautiful. Do the same for the eyes. Do the same for the eyes. Then hold your alternate to copy this mask and place it over here. So since we did exactly the same thing, 
is going to just give us the same results. Now we are done. We are done. If you need to sharpen it, if you need to clean up one or two things, you can do that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to use my eye whitening to just clean one or two things. Notice how I have a lot of reds and all of that. So I'll just pick up my brush and paint over the eyes like this. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's too much. Yeah, I know it's too much. That's why we have opacity in layers. So just drop it down and we are good to go. Just drop it down and we are good to go. Okay, so we'll do this. Nice. Sorry, that was weird. All right, so I think this is still a bit too much. So just keep it somewhere around 15 if. Yeah, so have a very clean eyes right now. Yeah, beautiful. So, of course, I'm going to be merging it all together so we'll not be confused with a lot of layers. The next thing I want to do is just I want to add a little more lightening to, to the catch light in her eyes. So I'm just going to pick up my combs, brighten it up a little and just paint over the catch light like this. So it makes it to stand out. Yeah, just like that. Just give, gives extra lightning to the cast light and makes it glitter. Gives life to the image. So I'm going to reduce it a little so you can quite distracted. So the next thing we are looking at is how to fix our background. How to fix our background very easily. So just do your select object. And um, another good news that I forgot to give you at the beginning of the video is that the background we are using in this image, we are giving it out to you for free we are giving it out to you for free so hopefully by now you must have seen the password that you used to download it that you used to unzip your file when you download the background and use it that's how it works okay so i missed this step that i want to fix before i go over to the next one and that is my color grading so i use this i use this uh plugin over here called mbp mbp color map x to generate a particular color palette that I want to use on her skin tone. So this is it right here. So I'm just going to apply the color grading. Yeah, I'll just apply it like that on the skin. You can decide to change the blend mode to any other thing you want to do. Let's see what color does. Color does basically the same thing. So I'm just going to go to my select color range and just pick up her skin tone, just her skin tone. Yeah, somewhere around the nose area. Press OK. So have our skin tone properly selected just a little bit here and there that we need to adjust sorry that was weird okay so have it here have it there so after just after modifying your mask you reduce the opacity or the feel maybe whatever that works for you so this gives us just a little more uh saturation to the skin tone and gives us some sort of evenness you could see that extra rich tones that's been brought into the shot so the reason i did it now is because the background i'm going to be bringing in wouldn't be needing that working on it so let's get straight to the background now so select some that you make your same subject selection select inverse press ctrl shift i to do that and just minus these areas because this, this obviously is a mirror reflection. So just remove the line, the edges of the mirror. So we would have the background properly reflecting on the floor. Duplicate your background layer. Right click on it to select layer. Bear cut. Hold your control to make to reload the selection. Or just right click on it to reload the selection. Right here we select. And it just picks it up again. Go to your filter. Blow, Gaussian blow, and make it smooth just like that. Press OK. Deselect, make sure your image layer is the topmost. Then go and pick up your background where you saved it. So I think mine, let me just locate mine where it is. Yeah. Okay, so one more thing I forgot to tell you at the beginning is that we've taken our time to generate over 500 hyper realistic backgrounds for your studio images because we noticed that this is an issue for a lot of photographers how you could get access to high-end 
high detailed textured backgrounds for your images so we took our time and downloaded over 500 uh hyper realistic backgrounds for you so these backgrounds are for you also go to the movie uh, to the video description and see how you can access it and you will use it for your work so today we are picking just one from the numerals we'll have to work on this image and we're picking this one over here uh, this one picking this one bring it in the scale it in to fit in yeah, just like that scale it in nice work so we'll have our yellow right in the middle like that so we need to bring this down a little so i think i like the composition here press ok change the blend mode to overlay just like you thought yeah or maybe soft line let's see what soft light does okay, so i think i like the contrast that overlay comes with so do the overlay and one thing i want us to do is to add a little saturation to the uh clothes she's wearing because we now have such a vibrant background and we need the image to equally pop in a vibrant mode so i'm just going to go to my adjustment layer pick up my hue and saturation use my hand pick up tool and pick the color of her dress and just saturate it like that you can play around by try changing the color to see if it matches what you are doing but i think for this image blue is the best color we need okay so we just use blue darken it down a little yeah just like that i'm just slight saturation so this is before this is after see the way it just brought the whole thing to life another thing i want us to do is to darken her hair a little so we'll just make a rough selection of the hair yeah just like that just darken the hair because it has a lot of lightning on it making the whole thing look quite unrealistic so we'll just make a selection of selection on the hair and we darken it down just like that yeah nice okay so i'm going to feather it somewhere around seven so won't have a lot of sharp edges use your curves and just darken it down a bit yeah just like that we are good so look at it before we darken the hair after we darken the hair before the the clothes saturation after the close saturation so you see that every single step brings you closer to the finished work every single step brings you closer to the finished work so one thing i notice i want to have in the image is that because of the color combination we have here we need quite a cool ambience we need quite a cool ambience so you can do that by using it at your curves your photo filter so let me try using curves and see if it's going to give us something nice so just come to the blues add just a little bit of blue yeah just like that just to lighten stuffs up and make it look very very realistic so because we have that we need to also tint the catch light in her eyes to have a blue tone on it so having done that i'm going to press ctrl i pick up my brush and paint into the catch light just that blue lights yeah just like that so it gives us some sort of uh extra touch the extra dimension so we'll just have catch light of blue a blue catch light in our eyes looking like the whole image was lighted like that so the next thing we'd want to do is to create a, clo a global color greedy so i'm just going to probably use a color lookup table to see how much we can do with that i think i love what this is bringing to the table this is also nice we just go through to see the exact one that looks so beautiful this isn't bad or it's not looking so nice for the team okay so i think we saw our stuff at the beginning right here so we reduce the opacity reduce the opacity let's check if we'll get something better oh i think i love this so i'm just going to drop it down a little more nice 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 beautiful so the next thing i want us to do is to create just a, a little vignette effect for the background so i'm going to select the background go to camera roll just to give that separation between the background and the image that is the essence of the vignette effect you could use any other means to get that done you could use your curves you could use your camera roll but for the image i want to use my camera roll so i'm just going to go to effect vignettes yeah something like that 
bring the roundness towards the middle bring the midpoint inwards open up the highlights so the edges can also brighten up as well yeah then reduce the opacity of the vignet and press ok let's see how that goes so we've created that separation between her and the background which is exactly what we wanted so this is before this is after yeah all right so we flatten everything up and we are good to go so let's just zoom in and see if we have one or two corrections that we still need to make yeah that is it we are done thank you for watching this amazing video make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and do make sure you on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video so this is the picture when we started see the picture when we are done just by using our done for you retouching pack thank you once again for watching see you on the next one